Hello again everybody. Um, today is day 32 of uh, Queen D's development and uh, yeah everything's going really really well. Um, you can see in this shot here we've got all three stages of development. Um, the, the eggs there on the far left um, and then as we move to the right you can see her pile of um, larvae and then up near the cotton wool are two pupa. And I've said this before, um, but people might not realise, one of the reasons the pupa are there is because they need anchors to spin their pupa. They need something to tether the threads to, to form the little case around them. And as I've said before when I was talking about my outworlds, this is why I give them a little teaspoon of sand, is that once the colony's a bit more developed, what they'll do is they'll take grains of sand and they'll actually drop them on top of the larvae to give it that scaffolding to, to form its pupa. Um, yeah, here's a really close-up shot. You can see, like I said, all three um, things in one shot there. You've obviously got the, the eggs, um, then multiple different larvae of different sizes. And you can see just how hairy they are. Um, this allows the ants, if they needed to, to stick larvae onto things, onto each other or onto the sides or things like that. And then, like I said, in the background you can see the pupa. So yeah, everything's on track with her, um, going very well, although obviously she's a very late stage queen now. We're, we're going to get something out before hibernation. Um, I would hope that I can get a few proper workers out that have been fed on a little bit of protein, so it's not all just nanotics that she has when she goes into hibernation. So, But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. And yeah, what I did was I just took the real close-up shot here of the, the pupa and how you can see how what, what she'd have done is she'd have dropped the adult full-stage larvae into that little swirl of cotton wool that's there. And they'll have used the strands of cotton wool as their anchors to spin those pupa. Um, as you can see, very caring mother. <laughs> Thank you for watching.